There we go. Uh, how's it going, everybody? Um, it is time for a little bit more Hollywood Movie Studio. Hang on. I'm trying to offset my uh, headphones here so I can still kind of hear what's going on around me. Uh, let's see. I've got that. Da, 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 da. Three hour stream with that song on loop. Part of me really wants to put this song on loop the entire time I play this. Just, oh, fucking... I mean, that's how we're starting this off. So, we might as well just start. I'm gonna do minimal talking for, like, the next three minutes and 50 seconds to just listen to this shit. I'm telling you right now. Alright, let's get playing. I'm even gonna turn it up. Fuck it. This is the greatest thing ever, by the way. I didn't think it was ever going to do better than Shinsuke Nakamura's song. Turn down just a little bit. Nobody's really shitting on Bobby Roode joining up. Yeah, no one was really doing that. There we go. Me in general, do I sound bad? Does it sound like I need to like redo my microphone? Just giddy with Bobby Roode. Absolutely. No, I won't give in. I won't give in. This is the greatest thing ever. Yeah, I heard about Athena, by the way. I literally only have one thing coming out this year. Damn. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm not gonna wear it out right now. We'll come back to it later. That's that's all. That's how we'll do this. We'll we'll have it. We'll come back to it later. Rather than have it play 15 times, we'll just. 
find my not going to get me pegged by copyright playlist and just play something straight off that. There we go. Turn it up just a touch. Da -da -da -da. Hang on one second, sorry. Ember Moon, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'd seen that she was called Ember Moon. I'm not quite sure why, but sure. Um, green light. Let me make sure everything's about where it should be. I don't get the 2000 screens thing. I really don't like that. Just pile all the money into this. There we go. Alright. Cash cow number eight. Let's green light that and start the pre-production. There we go. July 2027. So next month is when we'll have Boulderum 2. Let's see what we have for Boulderum 2. Man, we gotta wait a while. Alright, uh, it seems like everyone did really, really well. I think this movie will do fucking stupid at the box office. Like, it'll do ridiculously good. Let's see. I just don't know. Like, I've seen the fact that Athena's used, like, her, um... I've seen that Athena's used her, um... Uh, her, her indie finisher... Uh, on NXT, I just don't know if they're gonna let her to continue using that, or if they're gonna have that be something else. I think an awkward stunner type thing might not uh, be the best thing. Who knows? Wow, really? Only 129 million. Well, you see that? That's 471 million. That's what happens when I. Put some better actresses in this thing. There you go. That was good. I like that. And then the money that we made. We didn't make as much as I thought we would on uh, DVD and stuff. But it uh, looked like we made our money back and made some good money while we're at it. We might as well do this again. Can I explain what I'm doing here? Making movies. That's about it. Uh, I started off with a very small sum of money, and I've built it into a d ridiculous sum of money at this point. And now at this point, instead of trying to make movies to make money, I'm in making movies to make money, but then I also try to see if the um, if, if the, the movies that I decide to come up with and create, uh, I, can make, I can make some money with that. Uh, let's see... Sequel? We'll create, create, create a sequel for that. There we go. Get Bull Durham 3 up and running, because it's still making me money. It's not making me like a billion dollars like the last stuff, but you know what? I don't mind that. Alright, so I think that's pretty good right there. We got about four months to do that. We got all the way till July to actually have something out. Man, pre-production complete is finally complete on a... Man, anime movies take a long time. And I tell you that, I got, what, three anime movies right now. Two were quite successful. So we'll see how much better this gets here. We're just going to have to basically get to the... And uh, so let me see four. All right, writing is complete. Um, let's see. What should we uh, What should we put on here? Uh, let's green light it there. Start the pre-production there. Everything's pretty much done there.
Oh, crap. Oh, I'm tired. Anime movies, you mean hentai? No, legit anime movies. Come on now. Let's let's be. <laughs> let's be. I really wonder how much money that would make now. I really because I think you can make highly adult films. We should really look into that. Hang on. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this real quick and make sure we got all sorts of money coming into random bullshit. There we go. Uh, up at 3,500 screens. All right, so Bull Durham 3 is pretty good and ready to go. Um, we got until July until something else comes out. We should really try. I want to see what what that would what that would do. Maybe we could try to find like a graphic. I don't know what if they have a graphic novel or something like that. But it doesn't seem like anything that's actually a part of this. I'd have to make it myself. Do I make these games myself? No, this is just one that uh, has been around for a while. It used to be called Hollywood Mogul 3. And then after like... And then after like 10 years, the guy came around and basically patched up a few things and brought it out again as a Hollywood Movie Studio. And I know there are people who are asking about it. It seems like the download is gone for this game for some reason. I don't know if he's still actually doing it or not, but you used to be able to buy this game. I don't know how you're able to get this game now. Rather than just bootlegging it, basically. But I should do that. Let me see. My own idea. Let's let's just make my completely new idea. Let me let me think of a let me think of a a female. Uh, you know what? We'll just call it. We'll we'll make it the most stereotypical hentai ever. We'll call it Tentacle Monster. This is this is uh, anime. The genre. Hmm. What what were we gonna? This is exploitation, I would say, and uh, erotic. Is there a regular erotic? No, there isn't. So we're just gonna make it uh, maybe drama erotic, thriller erotic, maybe just exploitation erotic. So it'll take place in uh, ancient Japan. <laughs> What's at stake? Um, boy, let me see here. Well, I think if you're uh, dealing with a tentacle monster uh, injecting himself into you, I'd say coming of age, probably. True love. You know what? The tentacle mon all the tentacle monster needs is true love. <laughs> children. All right. Uh, so this is marketed at children. No. Um, let's just say all males, and then the the curious females from 18 to 35. Actually, let's just do male 18 to 35, and then male 36 to 50. So we'll, we'll take take just about every above 18 male. So let's see, Asia. The more you say it, the more I decided to do it, so we'll see. Small village. Um, oh boy, where should this where should this take? This this takes place in the mountains. This takes this takes place in a mountainous temple. I should have made it to children. Uh, let's see. It, it's gonna be the most intelligent hentai you've ever seen. It's gonna make you think thoughts that you've never thought before. It's gonna be. It, it's gonna be. Uh, it, it's gonna be. It's gonna make you think while you wank. Like it's a. It's a like. I don't know. Thinksturbation. I don't. I don't know how I would. We're gonna we're gonna make this. It's gonna it's. I'm thinking Citizen Kane, but with tentacle rape. I'm thinking that's about what it would be. Uh, so we really need to add in the dialogue. Um, story pace. We really want to keep the story pace down. Uh, there's gonna be some good genre elements, and uh, we'll make sure there's a lot of plot twists too. And uh, if there's gonna be some foul language, I'd say. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, they teach squid anatomy. That's what it's going to be. Let's see. Uh, foul language. Yeah, there's going to be some foul language. Uh, I'd say there's going to be a little bit of violence. Uh, and then love scenes are way up there. And then the story scope is going to be pretty high, too. It's going to be... It's going to be a thinking man's uh, porn. That's what this is going to be. Uh, so the main character is is a uh, human female. Uh, oh boy, what should she be? She should be a lead and uh, very naive. She's very naive, and it's it's a five star. Oh, yeah, I'd say five star nudity. Um, I'd say if we needed a sequel, she's going to be needed for the sequel. Uh, the difficulty for this, I'd I'd say at least at least an 85 this this is uh this is at least an 85 is there like a japanese name generator i really bet you there's a, a japanese name generator out here somewhere i should really look into that hang on japanese name generator let me see if something comes up Let's see, we're going to get some female names here, and uh, see what we get here. Rating should be 69. <laughs> no, because if this if this movie does well, it needs at least an 80 in the difficulty rating. I don't know why I'm pointing with my physical finger like people can actually see that. It needs at least an 80, I believe, to, to get... Um, garner a Best Actor or Actress nomination. So I don't know what's gonna happen but if I can make hentai like get a nomination for an award <laughs> that's actually the exact one <laughs> Nakamura-san <laughs> uh... let's see here Nakamura-san I'll name, I'll name her Asuka that's uh... that's, that's the typical so the, hey, she's Japanese. What do we name her? Ah, Asuka. Alright. So, uh, love interest. The love interest. Uh, I would say uh, alien. Alien's probably a good way to do it. Um, he's, he's definitely a lead. And uh, a, a sexy tentacle monster. He is going to be the sexiest of tentacle monsters. And uh, I, I guess you do about a four there in the nudity department. Uh, he lives. He'd be needed for a sequel. Ninety-seven. Holy shit! Let's let's drop this down to let's let's drop this down to let's do an eighty-five. And uh, oh god, what should we name him? <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. What would be a good name for this sexy tentacle monster? Hmm. <laughs> Make him die somehow. No, no, no. Because if we need sequels, this this immediately becomes a love story. So this is definite a definite thing that we need. So let's see uh, a character name for him. Him. It's just. It's just him. <laughs> It's just him, all in. There we go. H I M. Devitson. Oh my god. All sorts of just just wrestling references everywhere. That's this is Nakamura. <laughs> this is this is Nakamura. This is that. That's who it is. <laughs> Uh, should we have a villain? Uh, maybe, maybe someone who uh, is only interested in slaying the monster. He would be a human male, and uh, let's see, let's make him self-righteous. I'm thinking of like a Gaston, like a Gaston in Beauty of the Beast, like kill the beast, kill the beast. Like that's how I could see him being. Like he's very pompous and arrogant. He has good intentions, but then. You know, it kind of turns on in the story, like, oh, no, he's just trying to kill him. Um, Persona, I would say he's uh, eccentric. And, uh, y you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, um, say he dies at the end. 
Um, I'm thinking uh, nudity needs to be at least, I don't know, would would uh, uh, getting a tentacle uh, up your sphincter uh, be considered four or five star nudity? Uh, I don't really know. I, I'm gonna go with four star. Um, who should who should this guy be? Roman. This is <laughs> Roman. <laughs> Wait, he's he's gonna have a he, he's gonna have a big conquerors type name, so he's gonna be Roman the guy. I am Roman the guy. Um, let's see. I think. We should have a we should have a non-human male. Now I'm thinking Beauty and the Beast with tentacle porn. That this is this is what I'm. Uh, yeah, I know. I'll come in with studios, but I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking some now something like Beauty and the Beast, but with tentacle porn. So uh, she's gonna need she's gonna need uh, some some type of um, let's see, like an offbeat non-human friend, like maybe maybe some type of anthropomorphic. Like chair or something. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, nudity. We're gonna do a. We're gonna do a three because you know you can't just. Uh, it. it, it <laughs> he'll he'll get involved, but like he'll be blurred out a little bit. He he suggested to be blurred out a little bit. Uh, he lives. I think he'd be needed for a sequel. Uh, a sixty-nine, I guess. And uh, who would who would her friend her her friend her friend's just gonna be named Devitt. <laughs> Devitt is gonna be her best friend. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about this like tiny demon like just tiny demon candle that's just run running or that's just crawling around everywhere. <laughs> now I'm thinking fucking Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast just crawling around in like red and black paint, <laughs> wax dripping off of him. Oh my god. Um, let's see. I think she should have two. She should she should have two. She she needs someone who's kind of like a like a like a teapot. Like the pot from Beauty and the Beast. She should have a female that can help her take over her love interest. Uh so uh that female would obviously be uh support. Uh simple, uh, sweet and uh, yeah, she'll she'll get involved a little bit too. Uh, did I make him? Okay, lives. Yes, lives. Yes. Uh, also, sixty nine. And uh, because you have uh, Devitt, you're you're gonna you're gonna have to have. Um... <laughs> I know what I I, I know what I want to name her. I know what I should name her, but I'm actually gonna use her indie name because it would actually work maybe a little bit better too. For everything, so it's Devitt and Davina. <laughs> there we go. I think we've gotten just about everybody there. I think we need just about five people. That sounds about right. I don't know. We should maybe have someone else. Hmm. Break. <laughs> um. Let me see here. I'm trying to think if we need one more support. We'll figure out one more support. Let me see here. Like a cameo roll. Someone needs a cameo roll. What do we what what do we need? Let's see here. Uh I think boy, let's see here. <laughs> we're gonna make this really weird and it's gonna be an animal. Yep, it's good. We're we're gonna have an animal male. Um, supporting villain, yeah, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a heavy, uh, what is he gonna be? He's gonna be, um, hmm, intimidating. Let's just, he's gonna be like a bear. How about that? Just like a giant, like a bear. But a bear who only wants to fuck. I don't know. That's what I've come up with. Uh, he lives, but he's not needed if if there's a sequel. Uh, once again, a, a 69. And uh, when when I think when I think bears and keeping with the theme, I can only think of uh, one name that the bear should be named. 
Um, and I think we're pretty much good there. Let me see. Uh, we can cut down on the support rolls a little bit. Cut down on the minor rolls. There we go. No real additional villain. We've already got the primary settings. Um, I think a, 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 an upbeat story ending is about what we would have. You know, especially if we can, especially if we can milk this thing some more. He was thinking Elgin. Elgin, you know what? Elgin works. We will, we will make it Elgin. Wait. Elgin the Unbreakable. There you go. So it's so it's just like it's so that way it's just like Roman the guy. It's Elgin the Unbreakable. Arn Anderson, Kevin Owens have strong followings. <laughs> All right, I think we're good now. So we've gotten all that figured out there. All right, so let's. Is remove all nudity on or off? No, it's it's it, the remove all nudity is that's that's if I click that then all the nudity is gone. But I I want the nudity to be there. Uh, so yeah, a bear that just wants to fuck is uh, <laughs> three 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 four and then f we'll do five and five. With that now, we need her to be the the main violation of this. There we go. I think we're good. Uh, this is a hundred and twenty-one million dollar hentai. I think this is uh, probably t at least three hundred times uh, whatever budget they've ever had for any any sort of uh, hentai. So <laughs> for the sequel, we need the club for a cameo. <laughs> hang on hang on hang on okay <laughs> hang on so I'm gonna put another bear in here the more I think about this the more I want another bear he'll be an idiot uh, he'll be he'll be a uh, Maybe, maybe like a, a helpful bear. I don't know. Let's see. He'll he'll be simple. Uh, nudity will be up to three. Um, we'll make this a tragedy. He'll he'll die. He will he will die. And uh, since you mentioned since you mentioned the club, I thought of Gallows. Sex Ver if we're doing a hentai, Sex Ferguson has to be a character. So absolutely perfect. Alright. Now we have the last cameo roll. <laughs> and I think we've gotten everything under control that we need. Human female, alien male, human male, non human male. I I'm, I definitely have to I definitely have to double and triple check the genders just to make sure because I made this mistake one too many times. Uh, even with movies that I ha I'm making right now. All right. Seth is a spirit named CrossFit Jesus. This is this is the greatest. There we go. Let's let's get this started. All right. Let's. Do we want to add this to my database? Yes. I want this to be a thing that uh, whenever I pull up a new game, uh, Tentacle Monster, the hentai film, uh, uh, showcases itself. Uh, let's have this this guy write it. I really should have checked for the person who writes the Haruhi Suzumiya ones, the five star ones, so that we could um, so that we could use him as the uh, person. Oh well. Oh yeah, that's right. We're limited to two thousand screens now. I don't know why. All right, so Tentacle Monster needs to be written, so we have a, a, a at least an hour or at least a, a year of uh, writing to do. So I guess we're just kind of on our way now. So we'll just kind of keep going here, see what we have. You watch this hentai? <laughs> I do not know how hentai is going to go in this. Oh, here we go, Movie Studio Awards. Let's see if I actually did it again. That'd be great if I did it again. Uh, let me see. Anything? Anything? Oh, Boulder M2. 
Best screenplay adaptation? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, fuck. Alright, best original screenplay. We didn't have anything. I think we just had the one movie. Might have had something else, too. Yeah, Boulder Room 2. Come on. Oh, we got two of them. Come on, one of them. There you go. There you go. Let's, let's see a best supporting actor. Wow, Jake Gyllenhaal is the best supporting actor out there. So none of these are ours, so who cares? Let's see, best actress. Oh, man. Oh, if we can steal this one. Come on. Yeah, Boulder Room 2 winning all the awards. I bet you Cillian Mur I saw that Cillian Murphy had five stars. I'm going to feel great if Cillian Murphy beats out Harrison Ford and Tom Hanks as best actor. Fuck. Oh, well. Best director. Come on. Coen Brothers. You gotta give it to the Coen Brothers. It's the motherfucking Coen... Oh, wait. Oh, I got... I saw... I saw... It I'm like, I re recognize that, and I looked down. Oh, yeah, we got another one. We got two movies here. I don't know if I'd have enough dignity to walk into a theater showing $140 million hentai. Dude, I'm gonna put so much marketing into this, it's gonna be stupid. <laughs> it's gonna be showcased all across the nation. All across the world. Every possible theater. Watch it. Bull Durham 2. Ready? Yeah! I can't wait for the day in a couple years when a hentai wins this award because I always win bitches there you go <laughs> your Wi-Fi won't let you access twitch that's really weird huh all right oh no release date we need a release date they're not done yet are they Oh god, I just realized that some of the stuff that I've actually had in production needs needs a release date attached to it. And stuff's gonna start filling up if I don't do that. So we'll put Boulder in 3 on Valentine's Day. Uh, maybe, you know what, maybe Spring Break. Yeah, why not. Um, Greenlight 8. Is Greenlight 8 seriously done already? Have we done a turnaround already for it. Are we seriously done? Hang on, where's the production? April 20th? Dude, we're seriously done. All we need to do is just release this thing and make more money. Alright. Without even thinking, it's already done. How how good did we do? 81. I'm, I'm surprised how good the movie still technically is. Uh, we'll do uh, we'll do when school starts, because no one has seems to have gotten that one yet. Didn't even... Can you get hentai on the WWE Network for $9.99? I don't know. It depends on which direction they go with Camp WWE, I guess. <laughs> so. Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's add a soundtrack with uh, high, high stature. Um, it's on 3,000 screens. Let's, let's get a release date for this. How long is this going to take? Okay. So, it's going to take at least to March. So, we'll do Schools Out. It's a, it's a comedy. It's, uh, it's June, teen-oriented, big-budget dramas. Perfect. Alright, so everything's pretty much lined up and ready to go now. So, we got three movies releasing throughout the rest of the year. Uh, including in just a few months with uh, K-On! College 2. Is this the prequel to Camp WWE? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, we still got quite a bit of... Dude, it took two and a half years to write Home Alone. This better be, like, the greatest Home Alone film ever made. Christian Bale, like the picture movie? Nah. Alright, so we're in July, awaiting release. What does it look like? We've got an 88. That is awesome. We've got all sorts of movies. 
and screen setup. Let's bump this up to like 30 million so we can up the amount of screens this thing gets. Let's give it the soundtrack. We're going to give it the works. And uh, we should be doing well with that. Greenlight 8 is done. It's already got the works attached to it. So I don't know why I can't do more than two screens. I'm kind of... There are 2,000 screens. I'm really not sure why that's a thing. But, okay, so this one's got pretty much everything attached to it. Well, I'm sure people would love to hear the director and Don Cheadle just talk about audio commentary the whole time. I think that would be fantastic. I think I would buy a DVD for the, for the, for the uh, audio commentary if Don Cheadle was one of the guys talking about it. Who knows? Um, all right, K on College Two. Let's let's see how this release works. All right, two hundred and sixty million dollars. So we'll find out just how much money I made on this. Come on, baby, look at that. That's uh, that's that's pretty nice. Uh, I mean, we made money. I don't know if I'm gonna make another one at at this point. Three hundred fifty-five million dollars ain't bad. I mean, we paid two hundred and sixty, so we made a profit. Um, made decent sales on rentals and DVDs, but, uh, eh, you know, we did well, but not well enough for me to continue that. I think, I think we did well to, uh, uh, make money in the name of k -On. This whole hentai things work out, so you do a shield hentai. <laughs> we just start writing fan fiction in this game. Oh, that'd be... Horrific. <laughs> All right, cash cow, man, dude. That everyone's just—they don't even—they're just not even here anymore. The fact that we're still making money on this is ridiculous. Seven hundred and forty-two million. All right. So we more than doubled our money, and then an extra eight eight hundred million. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. People still really love this garbage. So, uh, we didn't make as much money as the last one, but we made more than Greenlight 5 and Greenlight 2 and even Greenlight 1. So it's far from the worst, so we'll go ahead and do another sequel. So, Cash Cow 9. Fanfic writers are disgusting people, says you. <laughs> I gotcha. We should we should do something. We should we should spice this up a little bit. I think we should do that. Let's uh let's spice this up a little bit with uh with some uh with some stuff here. Let's see here. We're going to we're going to upgrade the construction a little bit or the set construction. We're going to tune down the love scene so that even more families can come watch it. Um we're going to add another character. I want to do that. So, we're, we're going to make it like a major support character. I don't know. We're, we're just going to we're just going to make it like a um uh, we'll make it a female 41 nerd offbeat sure, why not? We're going to turn the turn the stunts right about there. Lives, yes, sure, why not? And uh, her her name will be Lego Brick because she's just going to be a self-insert character, much like a Lego brick. Uh, you can just uh, swap it out for anything, uh, including yourself. And uh, Lego brick will be now written into the story. So it'll take a little bit longer to do this one, but uh, I, think we'll, I think we'll do pretty well. Gay okay, Wyatt and his adventures of impenetrating the buzzards. Look the... I bet you there's a Wyatt Family fan fiction out there at some, somewhere. Oh my god, it's finally done. Alright. Home Alone is finally... It, it's finally done. So, are we gonna get... Yeah, we're gonna give this the green light. After all this time, it's finally been written. Alright. Um, man, I don't know if Macaulay Culkin is actually in this. That would be terrific, though. I am so, I am so into, damn, oh he's not interested, damn. 
I'd love to give it to a dude if Macaulay Culkin isn't in this. I would love to give it to a dude who's right around that same type of age. <gasps> Rory Culkin, come on, do oh, play your brother's role. Damn you! Come on. Not interested. All right. Well, I tried. I imagine that uh, uh, Macaulay Culkin isn't isn't here. Rory Culkin is, but not Macaulay Culkin. What the fuck is this ball? Oh, no. Oh, maybe it's because you're using Safari. I don't know. Okay. So, I did see another name that it doesn't really uh, fit the either the Culkin thing or um, either the Culkin thing or the, the child actor from the 90s. Uh, where is it? Let's, let's see if Jack Whitehall can do it. Jack Whitehall has that perfect look of a dude who would probably sit around and do not much of anything. He got four stars, so we'll go ahead and give him a shot. I like Jack Whitehall. Only $20,000 to sign him. All right. He's a cheap lead. Seth Rogen is the kid from Home Alone. Buddy. Oh, what was he? Oh, yeah, he was the old man, Marley. Okay, who's going to play Marley? Oh, my God. So, let's see. Kelsey? Kelsey Grammer? Come on. Yeah! We should just make it Kelsey Grammer. I don't know if there's anybody else I want now. Bill Murray? Bill Murray's expensive as hell, though. Tim Allen? Oh, God. Look at, look at Tim Allen's shit statistics. Val Kilmer? Oh, God. I love every little bit of this. Fuck it, we'll give this to Kelsey Grammer. I think he can do it. We got it. Kelsey Grammer is gonna play uh, Marley, the old man. Doesn't he generally like? Doesn't he generally kind of have a beard a little bit now? I can't remember. Buzz, who's gonna play Buzz? Where's 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 Seth Rogen? Buzz. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Who could play a good... Jonah Hill. Oh, okay. Well, who could play Buzz? Who could play Buzz? Michael Pitt's got kind of a fat face. We'll give him a shot. Okay. Who's going to play the old person? That'd be Seth Rogen. Uh, let's see, who else? We don't need no square jaw dudes. Ah, Haley Joel Os Oh my god, look how shit he is. Look how shit his stats are. Holy mother of god. We need someone fat face to do this. Was that? Uh, let's see. This game is so confusing. It's not that confusing. We're just kind of... Fuck it. Let's see if Rory Culkin will do it. Oh, there's a schedule conflict. Damn. I think I might go back up here. Who was it that I was looking at? No, Michael Pitt. Jonah Hill. Best of luck on resetting your router and being a part of this. Um... Yeah, he's not good at action, which I disagree at this point, but just make please just make Shia but is Shia above here? Did I not see Oh Shia. Oh he's not interested. Oh he is interested. He got three stars though. Hmm. Is there another person he could play? <gasps> Shia's a drug dealer, come on. Shia's a drug dealer? Gotta happen. Shia is a drug dealer. Shia is Daniel Stern's son. That's who will play him. And Buzz Buzz will be uh, Jonah Hill. We'll contact Jonah Hill as Buzz. 
his mom. Who's gonna play his mom? Oh, fuck. See, see what I mean by, like, me not double and triple checking genders? This should be a female. Um, and I screw that up. So, it's just gonna have to be his dad. Let's see. There's no way Martin Lawrence is, like, seven, seven or five million dollars at this point. I bet you you could probably hire him for a sandwich. Jim Carrey. Damn. Nick Cage. Nick Cage is his dad. Damn it. Alright, what do we need? We need high comedy. And then maybe some uh, work ethic and composure and takes direction pretty decently. Let's see. Kevin James might work pretty well. Uh, John C. Riley could work. Alright. John C. Riley it is, I'd say. Because they got Chris Eggman, James the Girl. Yeah, it's going to be John C. Riley. Chris Rock just doesn't have that look. John C. Riley has that look. He has that entire look that we need. Uncle Frank, the the oh god, um, <laughs> tug on the collar. Uh, of course, Tom Hanks would have been perfect for it. Kelsey Grammer wouldn't be able to do it. Let's move the let's move this down a little bit. Let's see who could who could do. Who could do the Uncle Frank role? I bet you Kevin Costner probably could. But we're going to look. Let's see here. John Tutoro, please. Oh, my God. Buscemi. Come on, Buscemi. Four stars. Okay. Buscemi is the guy right now. You know what? Jeff Daniels could probably pull it off, too. Oh, my God. John C. McGinley has that pissy pissy type uh god there's so many people who could play like a good pissy uncle Oliver Platt just go super cheap and get fucking Jimmy King dude I gotta remember this I gotta remember Oliver Platt is 60 years old and we can do a ready to rumble where Jimmy King is now long since retired I don't know if David Arquette is in this game but since Oliver Platt is in it, we need to have we need to do like some Ric Flair style thing with Jimmy King from Ready to Rumble, and Oliver Platt can come back as Jimmy King. So, I'm just gonna remember that. <laughs> um, uh, Steve Buscemi. Oh man, between Buscemi, Mc John C. McGinley, and Jeff Daniels, those are three really strong candidates. Uh, John C. McGinley. John C. McGinley really is more of a uh, sarcastic Uncle Frank type guy. I'd say. I'd say. Oh man, as much as I love Steve Buscemi, I'm thinking John C. McGinley might be just a little bit more what we're looking for in terms of of an Uncle Frank. So we'll have him be that. Who did who did direct Home Alone? I wonder if we can bring back the same guy. I don't know if it's been a guy who's been around for a while and we can have him come back to do this. I don't know. Director is Chris Columbus. Oh. Well, let's see here. I don't know if he's done anything in a while. Dude, I really want to do Keenan Ivory Wayans. <laughs> the only reason I would do Keenan Ivory Wayans, though, if, is if I got, like, Sean and Marlon Wayans to do, like, their own... Like, if I did... Like, if I did a Wayans Brothers Home Alone, that's when I would use Keenan Ivory Wayans. If I got Sean and Marlon, and I think maybe Damon's in this, it'd be perfect. What is the what is the plot of the movie? Okay, so Jack Whitehall plays a now 33-year-old Kevin McAllister who accomplished nothing in his life and is now um, sitting at home uh, uh, smoking weed, uh, playing video games, and masturbating all day uh, over Christmas. Um, his, uh, it's supposed to be his mom, his dad... Uh, maybe his mom died. Maybe that's why we don't have a mom. It's his dad. 
and uh, his dad uh, decides to go somewhere for Christmas. Who knows? Just leaves him there. Uh, Marley is uh, is um, Marley was the old man in Home Alone, and uh, Kevin McAllister. Uh, he he also takes. Uh, um, he he uh, he also likes to to uh, drop acid sometimes, so Marley comes to him as a hallucination. Uh, so Marley Marley exists as a spirit, not as a person. Marley is long dead, uh, but he he comes back as a uh, as as a spirit, uh, as a hallucination of uh, Kevin McAllister while he's tripping balls. Uh, his big brother Buzz is the main villain now who uh, uh, is trying to steal money from the family because he owes his drug dealer, uh, played now by uh, Shia LaBeouf, who happens to be Marv, one of the, um, one of the uh, bandits from the original movie, Son. <laughs> so Shia LaBeouf gives him the dank weed, and uh, Bu- uh, and uh, Jonah Hill's Buzz is trying to get money because he's o- he owes them money. And uh, yeah, the the dad and uh, Uncle Frank both both make uh, cameo appearances in the movie. I don't know how they come in, but that's just the plot that I've created. Uh, who should Zack Snyder, Nick G? T- <laughs> <laughs> he's interested. He's he really wants to make this movie. He's so interested. Both George Lucas and Peter Jackson want to make this movie too. This is brilliant. <laughs> I I should really look and see who's all interested in doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um, he doesn't have the comedic sense, unfortunately, which I disagree with because I've heard those tapes, those, uh, those, uh, those, those answering machine tapes, and I say those are probably the funniest things I've ever heard. Uh, so when they say he doesn't have com- you know, any comedy, I, I disagree. Oliver Stone. <laughs> Just have Oliver Stone direct a fucking comedy. I don't think it would work out that well. I'm about ready to give it to Keenan Ivory Wayne's though. I think I feel like I should know of McG, but I don't. And uh, yeah, giving Tyler Perry it just would probably ruin the whole thing. So you know what? I'm I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this to Keenan Ivory Wayne's to direct and see how well this works. I gotta be honest, I should really look and see if, um, I'm gonna put this to four, because I really want to see if, uh, Trey Parker is here. I know he is. I want to see if he's interested or not. None of these people are really that interested. This feels like a, this feels like this should be a Trey Parker movie. No? Alright, Keenan Ivory Wayne's it is. Alright, we'll, we'll accept the agent offer. <laughs> uh, then the producer the producer is going to be a no name anyway so we might as well just do that and then hire the most talented person that we can get in that in that uh, deal there which is probably just about like that I'm trying to see you know what we'll do that perfect all right, so Keenan Ivory Wayans is directing the new Home Alone. Jack Whitehall playing Kevin McAllister. Kelsey Grammer playing Hallucination Marley. Jonah Hill playing Buzz McAllister. Shia LaBeouf playing uh, <laughs> Marv Jr. Um, John C. Riley playing It's Now Gonna Be the Dad. Uh, and then uh, John C. McGinley playing Uncle Frank. And uh, we're ready to roll with this. August 2029. All right, man. They're pretty much filled up until January, so we'll just take MLK. Action and sci-fi. 
man, there's not really a good, uh, you know what, because of that, we'll just, we'll just take an off week in September, how about that, just so we can actually get it out, there's not going to be a good time anytime after January, really, unless we're just going to hold on to the movie for like a year, doesn't Seth Rogen direct movies, I'm pretty sure he does, I think, uh, needless to say, there's probably going to be a director's cut, maybe with more tits or something in it. And uh, I would love nothing more than to have uh, Keenan Ivory Wayne's Jack Whitehall and Jonah Hill do audio commentary about this fucking insane movie. I think that is worth the DVD price in and of itself. <laughs> Alright, so... We are we are anxiously awaiting. Where you got? I totally forgot. I put Don Cheadle. <laughs> I totally forgot. Don Cheadle was my Hachiman. That is amazing. Oh yeah, it's just voices, so it doesn't matter because this is an anime. That's right. So. Uh, let me make sure the release and everything is good, because that's next month. So, we got all that. We're on 3,500 screens. Cool. So, I guess we'll see just how well this works. Boulderum 3 is also done. And that seems to be pretty much ready to roll there. So, we're pretty much ready to go. Alright, so we'll see how well our next anime venture goes as we try to uh, continue in our in our uh, quest to uh, make this wow okay I don't think we've, I, I mean it's it's technically considered a bomb as much as I assumed uh, oh geez hi time fly <laughs> there we go Timefly, why don't you have shit attached to you? Hang on. I just realized you just came up as like a normal person. That's Oh, there we go. We'll just we'll just go through this. Alright. I won't even worry about it right this second. Can you make an actually good live DBC DBZ movie? Alright, if Mila Kunis has got an idea for me, we'll take it. Why not? Alright, pretty good, pretty good. Contract, she's produ- I don't know how good she is at producing stuff. Alright, she's not great, but... Alright. Uh, what are we talking here? We're talking, uh, it's called Gloved. Hmm. I wonder if we can turn this into a hentai. <laughs> Gloved. Uh, it's a family comedy animation. It's in a post-nuclear wasteland. Alright, sure. Why not? We'll, we'll give it a shot. Why not? I like how a, how a post-nuclear wasteland seems like the perfect place to have a family comedy. Alright. We'll, we'll add a... We'll add a... You know what? Green light... Green light was one of those that I didn't come up with, and I've been making shitloads of money off of it, hence why there's a ninth. So, we'll take this one and see what we can pull together for this. Oh, she is an an- oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, she's an animal. And, okay, oh, it's animals, oh. We're making, we're making just a, an animal family comedy. Alright. Alright, um, let's see, what do we need? It's pretty much comedy, so... Uh, we'll just do five-star comedy, and then we'll at least make this stuff pretty good. And we'll work off of this and see what we can get here. We'll <laughs> do Jack Whitehall again. <laughs> Ty Burrell. He's done a couple of movies in this already. Let's see, James LeGro, Adam Goldberg... Danny McBride being the lead voice in a um, kids movie is gold to think about. Then again, Will Arnett was a, a uh, legit 
was a legit um, supporting voice in a kid's movie. So, Chris O'Dowd. It's going to be... It's going to be an Irish or a Scottish, uh, let's see, Jim Parsons, alright. I think that's about all I want to do, really, at this point. I'll just make it Jim Parsons. Oh god, Mila Kunis is directing this, too? I didn't see director, too. Oh my god, can you? Oh no. Watch this still make me, like, a billion dollars. I could see it. Uh, James Legro, who should do this? We'll give Kelsey Grammer more to do. How about Jason Bateman? Martin Freeman. I'm trying to find some five stars here. No, John C. Riley. Uh, I haven't used Jason Bateman in anything, I don't think, so we'll give it to him and see what he can do. Uh, major support, an aggressive idiot, who's also female. Uh, we're gonna turn down the drama because we don't need the drama really. Uh, like, but let's see how uh, Aubrey Plaza does. Not well. Let's see, like Bell, Jess Wexler. All right, cool. So hopefully this will be another cash cow that we could just cash in on. We'll see. Uh, da, 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 Jason Sudeikis. Hey, Simon Pegg is in here. Let's see if Simon Pegg. Hey, he did pretty well. Why not? He can play. Uh, he can play a supporting role. I'll pay some money for Simon Pegg. We got enough money sitting around. All right, I think we're good. Let's start the pre-production. November twenty thirty. All right. So November twenty thirty. Ah, Thanksgiving is perfect for a kid's movie to come out. A family movie? Are you kidding me? That's like a family movie coming out on Thanksgiving? Like, that is... That is just asking to make a shitload of money. Pretty excited, honestly. Does Bull Durham 3 only cost us... Oh no, the total cost is a lot more. To be fair, most of it is not even the money as much as it is all the excess crap that we've thrown on there. Uh, Alright, so I guess we make it to January. Tentacle Monster writing is complete. Oh boy. We get to do our casting. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go all out for this. We're gonna We're gonna put some we're gonna put some uh, we're gonna put some shit behind this. This is gonna be the highest the highest quality hentai you've ever seen ever. Let's green light this shit. We are getting it this done. Alright, who is going to play our main actress? Alright, it's an erotic exploitation. So I'm saying some drama is probably going to be needed. So we're going for a whole new level of uh, person who might who might do such a uh, such a movie. She seems like she'd work. Nope. Okay, let me see here. Someone who would work out pretty well. This one's gonna be. Let's see. Sam Miguel, you've always worked out pretty well for me. No. Oh my god. This is uh. Let's see here. Five stars. All right. Sixty-six-year-old woman having to do the voice hentai. Love interest, who's going to play a tentacle monster? Sexy tentacle monster, oh boy, let's see. Alana's not really a male name. Allison, oh there's a lot of new, there's a lot of new people that they threw in here. Oh, there's a lot of new people that have been added to this, so we're gonna... Oh wow. 
Actually, that's really odd. It's it's not any it's not any actual people. It's just a bunch of other voice actors and actresses that would do this. And it, probably because it's an alien. Maybe. I don't know. So I guess we're just going to find somebody who can maybe do this. Uh, and we'll just we'll just move move our way up until we find something. That's really odd. That we're not able to find someone. So many five stars and we can't find someone who actually wants to do this. No one wants to do this. This is ridiculous. Um, we're going to have to pay somebody some decent money, aren't we? Dude. What's going on? How come we can't... How come no one wants to do it? Okay, we got one person. Two people. Alright, who would be better? Uh, I'd say you might be a, you might, you might be a little bit better. Solomon Noose, God. Well, I'm about ready to put her on my neck because I can't find anybody you should, who wants to do this. Sexy tentacle monster. Though. I know, it was weird. No one, it wasn't anyone specific that we could use. It was weird. I'm going to cheap out on the people who can do this, though. Let's see, Roman the guy. Who should who should play Roman the guy? Let's see. All right, he seems like he'd do pretty well. Did five stars. We'll give him to that. Devitt. Where's Chris O'Dowd? Is Chris O'Dowd in here? I know he's in here. I don't think he's where I need him to be though. No, he's not a good dramatic actor. Okay. Fuck! Gary Oldman would be great to put in one of these roles. Forrest Whitaker. Dude, we need we need someone who can... Dude, people really don't want to do... Cillian Murphy. Alright. Cillian Murphy was just doing... Haruhi Suzumiya stuff, wasn't he? No, it wasn't Haruhi Suzumiya. What the fuck was it that I just had him in? Bull Durham. That's what he's been doing. Cillian Murphy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I just had him. Damn it! The Rock needs to be in here somehow. We need to put The Rock in here somehow. Does The Rock do bit parts? Because that would be amazing if he does. Where, where's... Man, I'm losing track of people. Hang on. I'm, ha I'm like leaning up right now just to try to get a better look at this. Does not take small rolls. That's all right. All right, where was Cillian Murphy at? God damn it! I just had him. No, probably not. It's probably up this way. God damn. Okay, hang on. I'm sorry. I'm getting like so. Oh my god! I saw Louis C.K. Give, give me, give me Louis C.K. Tell me Louis C.K. will work with this. Four stars. Oh, man. Louis C.K. playing. Playing him would be great. Kevin Spacey needs to play Devitt. Adam Scott. Adam Scott would be pretty, pretty funny for that, too. Let's see... Who else would be good? Danny Trejo. Oh my god. Alright, we need to up the comedy here. We need uh or no 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 no, not the comedy, the drama. We need uh we need a good dramatic actor here. Someone who could uh fulfill the role of a uh great great actor. I think Cillian Murphy needs to be it. But I'm looking. No, no, no one down there wants to do it. So we'll have. Fuck. Yeah, we'll just do Cillian Murphy. He's been doing well. All right, who's gonna play Davina? It just smells like Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> uh, who could do it? Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, no major actress wants to do this. No major actress wants to do any role 
and a hentai. So we'll just work our way down until I see someone who'd be great to use. Who's next to nobody, really. Let's see if Melanie Linsky does well. I don't know if she doesn't. She's got something else that she's doing. Sammy Gale seems to be perfect for all of these. and <laughs> I love all these not interested. Like, they come in and do it, and then, like, as soon as they realize what they're going to have to do, they just like, I just uh... Rob and Tunny, let's do it again. We can rely on some of the great people who do this. Uh, let's see. Who's going to make a cameo appearance as Elgin the Unbreakable? Oh, boy. Oh, God. We're back to people who... People who, like, don't really exist on this, this plane. That's really odd. So I'm going to up this just to keep this as a... Uh, Hang on. I don't know why this is happening. Have I gotten so far into this game that they're now just... That they're now just introducing new people and that's all I can use? There we go. Alright, Sex Ferguson. Alright, someone needs to play Sex Ferguson. Let's, let's bring this down a little bit, because I want to find... A good, solid Sex Ferguson. Uh, let's see here. Who could who could play a good Sex Ferguson? Who would actually want to be a part of this? <laughs> None of the high-profile actors want to do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kevin Bacon. Oh, he's not interested. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Hugh Laurie, oh my god. Hugh Laurie of Sex Ferguson, come on. Uh, Cuba Gooden Jr., Andy Garcia, how about that? Ah! Oh. Franco, come on, Franco will do it. No, Franco's not even interested, what the fuck? Thomas Hayden Church, Guy Pierce, Greg Kinnear, Bateman, Clive Owen. Sam Rockwell, come on. Rockwell, come on, buddy. Oh, you got me five stars and you're not interested, you motherfucker. Michael C. Hall. Come on, Michael C. Hall. Give me it. God damn it. Fuck you, Dexter. I like Breaking Bad anyway. <sighs> no one wants to do this. I'm trying to find someone who might be... Lawrence Fishburne, please. Oh my god. We're running out of... Running out of roles. Or we're running out of auditions. Ah. <sighs> John Malkovich, please, please, John Malkovich. Fuck! No one wants to do this. Willem Dafoe, oh my god, there are so many people. Stephen Fry. Oh my god. Can we make can we make Stephen Fry it? Oh my god, no one. Tom Hiddleston. Damn it! Gary Sinise, come on. Come on. Fuck. No one wants to do this. Uh, let's see. Bill Paxson. Come on, Bill Paxson hasn't done shit in years. Fuck off. Ving Rames. Come on, Shaft. Do it for me. Alright. So, I got three more auditions. I got two more auditions. Shaft is willing to do it. So I have Ving Rames. So... Yes. Alright. So if nothing else for these last two, Shaft will be my uh, will be uh, my sex Ferguson. Kiefer? Kiefer's only three stars. Let's see, Dominic Cooper, David Tennant. <laughs> David Tennant would be fucking brilliant. Uh, Alan Cumming. Michael J. Fox! Oh my god, should we try Michael J. Fox? I know he's not going to want to do it. He's willing to do it! 
Oh god, okay. So, I know there's a bit of a delay. I'm gonna grab some water real quick. Um, who should I have be my sex Ferguson? Michael J. Fox? <laughs> or Shaft? <laughs> I'm thinking Ving Rhames is probably gonna win this. But I'm gonna go grab some water. I think it's I think it's gotta either it's probably gonna be Ving Rhames, but either Ving Rhames or Michael J. Fox. I'm gonna go grab a water. Hang on, getting some more water. Or at least drinking it, give me a sec. <laughs> ah, there we go. Alright. Michael J. Fox? Alright, we'll do Michael J. Fox then. I'm kind of surprised Michael J. Fox is so low down here. By the way, who could we also have done? I've heard about his gigantic penis before. John Hamm probably would have been pretty cool, too. David Duchovny. David Duchovny probably would have been great as well. Steve Buscemi. Oh, fucking... Uh, oh. God damn it. Oh, fuck. What was he? Goldeneye. The Pierce Brosnan movies. Um... Uh, Valentin. Valentin Zukovsky. He was great. Robbie Coltrane was great in that. Valentin. Ah, oh, I didn't know Valentin was in here, too. I bet you he's got more known roles that I just don't remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Michael J. Fox. He's cheap. Alright, who's going to direct this train wreck? Man, not a lot of people. Let's see. Isn't Sofia Coppola like pretty well known for her? Um, isn't Sofia Coppola pretty well known for her uh, movies that she's directed? Not so much been in. I heard she was the uh, worst part of uh, what was it? Godfather Part Three. Was it Godfather Three that she was the worst part in? I'm thinking. Let me see. DJ Yellow. Oh god, who who else is there possibly, Joe? Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. I feel like Sophia Coppola would be great though for this. I know she's done some good some amazing shit. I wanna I want to see what she's done. Hang on. Lost in Translation. Marie Antoinette. Okay. Could she do this? Uh, no, actually, you know what? I want to find someone who's a bit got a bit more. Uh, actually, let me see this. Yeah, she's got some visionaries. She's got a lot of authority. All right, Sophia Coppola. Fucking. Lost in Translation, Marie Antoinette, and then a hentai. Doesn't that just sound like the best? <laughs> this is the stupidest thing ever, by the way. Uh, let's see here. Perfect. Director of Godfather Neri gave her lead role to his daughter. His Yeah, his daughter. She's uh, Francis Ford Coppola's daughter, and she had a uh, a part. Yeah, 
gave yeah in the nearly lead role. I heard she was like the worst part of Godfather Part Three, but as a director, she's great. Yeah. Yeah, she gave, he gave her like a major supporting role. Like I think I don't know if she was the lead actress, but she was definitely one of the like top three actresses in the movie. Uh, December twenty thirty is when Tentacle Monster. Wow, look how much time it's gonna take to make this. Uh, nothing, n nothing quite says. Um, I gotta say, n nothing, nothing quite says um, uh, holiday Christmas season um, movies quite like uh, Tentacle Hentai. Uh, so yippee for that! Uh, all right, I guess we will be moving on then. Let's see, January twenty twenty nine. Ooh, we got Saints Row coming on now. That's right. Let's see, who all was what again? Who did I who did I choose on what? Tay Diggs was the boss. Shondi was Tatiana Maslani. Michael Pina played uh, uh, the villain, Dina Balor. Tay Diggs was also Pierce, that's right. Lindy Booth played Kinsey, that actually looks pretty normal. John, Jeremy Sisto played Johnny Gat. I don't know how much that would help. Uh, Lee F. Schreiber playing Matt Miller. And then Tate Diggs once again playing Benjamin King. So he just plays all the black parts. We have one guy for all the black parts, and I think Tate Diggs is gonna bust it out of the park. Oh my god, look at look at how good they all did. Holy shit. Hentai merch on the ticket line. That's... I'm gonna I'm gonna put so much like there's gonna be there's a there's gonna be a soundtrack to this a five star soundtrack we're gonna have major artists recording the songs for this hentai. Uh, let's see how well Saints Row does because it looks like it it's gonna do pretty well. Oh oh wow oh wow seven hundred thirty nine million dollars. Okay yeah so um, let's just not deal with that. And uh, where's Saints Row? We're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, here's here's uh, here's Saints Row. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and uh, make a, a Saints Saints Row two. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing that we just did. Uh, we're gonna up the production quality though. Uh, I can I can smell money happening right here. I could smell money being made. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, make another Saints Row. And uh, hopefully we'll get that out here. Bull Durham 2. Or Bull Durham 3, I forgot. They got a nice, quick turnaround to that shit. Ooh. Alright, the entries of Haruhi Suzumiya is done. Let me, first, let me see how good Bull Durham 3 is supposed to look. 77, so it really depends on which way it goes here. Haru Suzumiya, I bet, did really well. A night look at that, dude. I don't know what, but like we're gonna just I don't know. A 95 look at that. It's like a 99, 92, 99, 95, 99, 99. Shit. We know how to make a fucking Haruhi Suzumiya movie. I'll say that much. Alright, Bull Durham 3. Let's see how Bull Durham 3 does. We'll be just about done here, I think, as well, pretty quickly. Uh, 431 million, okay. We more than doubled it. So uh, we may do that one more time. And uh, we'll go ahead and start the ceremony here. This seems like a perfect place to stop once we get done with this. Uh, let's see, best original screenplay. We didn't have anything like that right now. Uh, that's for uh, the 2030 awards in a couple of years when the hentai wins the awards holy shit i didn't even know gabrielle union was in this fucking thing i have not once seen her in any of my 
Wow, is she really considered the best supporting actress? Okay. Sure, why not? Uh, best supporting actor, Chris Evans. There's a lot of pretty strong. It's where the Philip Seymour Hoffman, number one Philip Seymour Hoffman, uh, being in this, but you know, it's deals kind of a couple, couple years old. Did our one movie not get anything? Wow, she got a best actress award, really? Okay. Uh, let's, oh man, I don't know who that's going to be. It's probably either going to be Robert Downey Jr., Harrison Ford, or Tom Hanks. Harrison Ford. Dude, I, I fucking quit if M. Night Shyamalan wins. I, I'm ending this if M. Night Shyamalan wins. Okay, I'll take Meryl Streep directing <laughs> I'll take a loss to Meryl Streep long before I take a loss to M. Night Shyamalan. Ooh, ooh, okay. So we didn't make a lot of money with Origairu, but it's considered a best movie? Oh my god, dude. I just realized this. If either if we continue our streak and either one of our movies win, I think this will officially mark the first time that an anime will win Best Picture. Come on. Let's make history. I've got two anime films up there. Give me... Make this another win for me. Fuck yes. There you go. I didn't really make all that much. I, I actually lost money on Origairu, but... Hey. History. <laughs> I, I got, I got best picture for an, with an anime movie. Once again, I make history. This movie tanked, but at least I got another shiny statue for my amazing movies. There we go. I think that's a perfect place to stop. <laughs> oh man, I did not think that Orikaru was gonna win. That is amazing that one of our, that one of my anime movies actually, it actually fucking did it. Override save game. There you go. What award show is this? That that's their own. That's their nondescript version of. Um, Oh, what is it? Oscars. The Oscars. Their own version of the Oscars. Yeah. So, uh, did pretty well there. Alright. Still made some decent, decent money at this. Oh, right, right. Um, before I do that, because I know I'm going to forget before next time. Um, no, it wasn't Bull Durham. What was it? What did I just say I wanted to do? Saints Row. No? Yeah? Saints Row? Did I do Saints Row 2 already? Okay, what did I just... Re oh, fuck. What did I just release? God damn it. Alright, 2029. What was it? Well, Durham 3. Did I already do it? I think it was Saints Row. I think it was Saints Row that I got all my money in. So, I think I already did it. But uh, we're starting to run a little bit shy on movies right now. So I think maybe next time we'll look into maybe making some more anime stuff. Maybe make something specific to... <laughs> Hopefully we can try to get someone big. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to do a new Ready to Rumble. I don't know. I'm probably going to forget by the next time, but I'll try to remember. Get Oliver Platt and try to do a, a Ready to Rumble 30 years later. All right. So, uh, all right. That was uh, that was pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll probably be doing something else for you guys. 
on stream, but you guys watching on YouTube, that'll be the end of this video. So thank you very much. I appreciate you watching, and uh, I will see you guys later.